I'm Mr. Hegstead. We're going to be doing a sculpture of an eye with water-based clay. We're going to start with a, an eye that's already been, been rolled, and we have the skin that's already been rolled. And so what we do is we come like this, take a dowel like this, and roll this like this, okay? And then we come in, and we take the lines, cut this like this, okay? And then we take a, an old brush, and go like this, push it all the way back in there. Sometimes you can even push it all the way through so that it will dry inside and it will not uh, bust apart. If the clay is thicker than a half an inch to a quarter inch, then it will not uh, dry evenly and it could actually pop like a bomb, okay? So we'll set this here on a, on, a, uh, on a sponge, a wet sponge. You want to have a roller so you can roll this out. You want to have a, an X-Acto knife to do the, the sharp lines. You want to have a needle to be able to do any type of scoring. You want to have this knife here so you can be able to make the slit for the eye. Make it about an inch long. Don't make it wide. Make it long, okay? And then lift this puppy out. And then you can be able to take this. Take this and roll this over. Roll it like this. So you create a ribbing of strength, okay? Then you take this, roll this. And this is the bridge of the nose. Now, your water needs to be sprayed very gently on this. If this becomes too dry, it'll start to crack. If it's cracking, get rid of it, get some new clay, spray your old clay, it'll constitute rapid and plastic, and then get it back together again and get the water in there, okay? So roll this, give it the bridge of the nose, okay? Here's your emotion, do the brow, okay? You got to do this tight. This is not tight. And so you roll this, roll it tighter so it doesn't curve down like that. It's it's got some strength to hold itself up. And then roll this up. Give it some strength. Okay. And then bring this over. You have to work fast. Now we're going to see how the emotion goes on this. And so we roll this up. We can make it look really mean. We can make it really scared. Okay? Just be careful with the eyelids. Okay? Roll this up. Do not roll this down to make the eye pop out. That's not good. That makes it looks like it got run over by a tractor. We don't, we're not trying to do a bulgy-eyed goldfish. Okay? And then you can set this up like this. Roll this. Okay? Pinch this. Roll this in. Now be careful. Don't be afraid to do this more than once. And just practice, practice it, and see what happens to the clay, okay? See what happens to the clay. See all these wrinkles, stuff like this? We want to try and make it a little bit smoother, but after the clay works itself into more of a dryness, you can actually start to adjust things. You can adjust things. But the main thing is, is that you are working on something that will last. Now, see how this can, this eyelid can be bent, stuff like this. You got to be really careful, okay? But this is really fast, something really, really easy to do. And you can put it down like this, put it, make it a little bit more a furrowed brow, curve this up. And then you have something like this where you can see what happens with 
the shadows, all that sort of stuff. Just make sure. Now, I want you to see something. This right here, it's hollow, so you want to be really careful to roll it really tight. Okay? Either that or it will not hold its shape. And it's something fun.